industry not faring much better. Price of lumber has soared in the last 12 months, up more than 300 percent from last year. And with demand at an all-time high as more people try to renovate or build their own homes, suppliers in Northeast Ohio have struggled to keep up. And News 5's Jesse Schultz found they're worried about how long this crisis could last. The soaring price of lumber is something that developers and contractors now have to pass on to the consumer. The rising prices adding $36,000 to a newly built home. That's if they can get their hands on it. When you're building a home, there are at times unforeseen obstacles to overcome. And Chad Stone, the owner of Stone's Construction and Remodeling, has made a living dealing with those obstacles. But he's never seen anything like the current lumber market. We've had over a million dollars in kitchens, or additions, I'm sorry, put on hold. People are wanting to see if the pricing comes down, if it comes down to a new I don't know, more stable price. But that price is not stabilizing. Every supplier I've talked to says not only is the cost of goods and wood not going down, but continuing to go up. To put it into perspective, in May of last year, $50,000 worth of lumber could build 10 homes. This year, it can only build two. The reason, well, it's tough to nail down. There are tons of variables that you know, I don't think anybody could necessarily predict. Like Jeff Everett with Cleveland Lumber says it's a perfect storm with tariffs on Canadian lumber, very few sawmills that can meet the demand, and a lack of truck drivers to deliver the material. Everett says it's been more than challenging. We're having to, to explain to people, you know, I'm giving you this, this price today. Um, you know, new, new prices come out in a few days, so this could change. It's a supply type. It's a trickle down effect. Greg Platt owns ornamental products and tools. They sell woodworking machines. It's starting to affect all of us. We have, I mean, there are good days and bad days. Okay, and not, not like it used to be. Stone says he's hopeful the lumber prices will level off, but says he'll be lucky if he breaks even this year. People are either going to pay more for work or they're not going to do it. And that's just the current state of construction right now. And it's sad, but that's just how it's going to be. There's going to be a lot of small businesses that are affected by this to the point of bankruptcy or out of business. The industry is now calling on the Biden administration to temporarily remove the 9% tariff on Canadian lumber to help those prices stabilize. They're also hopeful that some of the mills will come back online to ease that supply shortage. Reporting in Cleveland, Jesse Schultz, News 5.